Hi, I'm Kyle. This is my schoolie. It's a 2009 Chevy Express 3500. It's got the Duramax motor in it with a brand new transmission in it with warranty. Over here we got old Victron set up behind. We got a 3000 watt inverter, three Battleborn batteries, uh, DC to DC charging. Let's see, turn the light on in here. Um, AC to DC distribution. Up top we got 800 watts of solar with uh, four different panels along with the rooftop deck. Right here we got the water fill for the onboard uh, fresh water. There's 30 gallons in there. Here's the shower attachment, exterior shower, um, exhaust for the diesel heater. For solar setup we have a really nice setup in this bus. We got 800 watts of rich solar panels, very nice panels. Um, for the solar system set up under the bed, um, we have 300 amp hours of Battleborn lithium ion batteries with a 3000 watt Victron uh, inverter, uh, Victron DC to DC charging, Victron charge controller. We also have uh, uh, shore power to charge as well. Never have to worry about um, the batteries being charged. They're charged by 10 o'clock every day if you got good sun or if you're driving around at all. So never have to worry about solar in this, this setup. So there's three ways to the, this solar system charges. Biggest upgrades to a bus, RV door go away with the bus doors, so that's very nice. It's got screen door as well. The bus has got 150,000 miles on it with a brand new transmission. Up front, I kept it pretty simple other than adding some shoe storage. Still got the oak up front. On the bus, I got 800 watts of solar with a 3000 watt inverter to um, handle everything that you would ever need on this size of a bus. Got six outlets in the rig, one up front above the driver. It's got USB and micro USB charging as well. There's two um, outlets next to the counter, one outlet over the bed. Uh, also, the one over the bed is with USB and micro USB charging. I have some DC to DC charging, so when you're driving, the bus will charge. Um, solar charges everything fine. Also have shore power. Typically with good sun, the bus is charged by 10 o'clock every day, no matter what, 100%. Never have to worry about everything, anything. Lots of storage in the rig. Storage above the fridge. Both sides of the bus, all over storage. The fridge is 12 volts, so it doesn't take up any power, really. Way less than uh, 120 volt. Very big fridge, lots of storage. For lighting, we have four areas of lighting. at one under cabinet light. There's front section of lighting and back section of lighting. Um, all for things on the dimmer, so you can dim the lights. There's a switch right here above the bed, um, so you don't have to get up and turn the light off. I have a three burner propane stove. Everybody's wish, an oven. Everybody loves that. Most people don't have that in a bus, so that's very nice. Haven't filled the propane up in two months. It lasts a very long time. Uh, equipped with a max air fan, works wonderful. Have the switch down here so you don't have to touch the top. Very convenient, you got rotation or direction and speed. Queen size bed, the bed does flip up to get have access to underneath. Here's the out, outlets again. Two to plug in whatever you may need. Blender, coffee maker, hair dryer, whatever. Simple storage for clothes. storage under the under the sink for typically for a trash can this is the toilet area very simple to use nature's head vent fan is, the vent fan is on constantly on this bus I blacked out or frosted the bottom parts of the windows so the only windows that you can see through are the ones that aren't tinted they're all tinted um, Got butcher block countertops that get conditioned once a month and you got walnut backsplash that everybody loves.